Okay, so uh, before we get started on the carving of our bob relief tile, uh, I wanna go over the tools again for carving. This is a really good tool to have, just an X-Acto knife, okay? That's good for cutting. We also have one of these, and a lot of you bought toolkits. Uh, this is, we call it here in the studio, an arrowhead tool. Um, it's got an arrowhead knife, and then it has this cup shape for scooping out clay. We also have another uh, carving tool. This has one straight edge with a slight cup shape, and the other end has a beveled edge, more like a chisel, an angled chisel. Uh, here's another one for getting crisp lines. This is kind of like a chisel edge or a spade um, arrowhead point. And on the other end is a needle tool. Okay, so this is another good tool to have. Um, we also have, you should in your toolkit have one of these wire loop tools and these are with flat, trying to get a good angle. You can see it's flat ribbon wire. It's not rounded wire, it's flat wire. This is gonna be used to carve away large um, amounts of clay to certain depths. And here is another wire loop tool, again, small, very small, uh, with flat steel. It isn't a rounded thing like a paper clip. This is flat metal. Um, and then we also have one of these modeling sticks, essentially a really sharp pencil or um, just a wood dowel sharpened really to a nice point is really nice to have. Um, and then for cleaning up and smoothing in areas where we can't get our fingers, having an assortment of uh, small paint brushes, and these are natural hair. Uh, most of these are made with camel hair or um, some other type of animal hair. These are great for smoothing in areas where your finger cannot get into. So here's our tools. And this is the image that I chose from a uh, vegetable packing label, uh, circa around probably the 50s. And I'm using the Pelican. Uh, in my previous demo, you saw this. I even traced out the crown, but I'm thinking now I'm probably not gonna use it. But so, in my last video, I showed how to trace out and transfer the design onto the clay slab. And this is set up and firmed just a little bit so it's not tacky, but it's definitely moist. And it, I wanna keep it at this stage now for the remainder of my sculpting. Um, I defined my border. And in my last video, when I traced, you could see some very faint indentations. That's where I transferred. I came back with my modeling stick and re-emphasized those lines one so you could see uh, the design and see how I'm going to start carving. I also took artistic license. I just kept the pelican. And now I made a um, horizon line. And in this project, you're gonna need uh, three different levels, okay? So we're gonna have the foreground, which is where the pelican is gonna be. And we're gonna have the middle ground, which is this here, what he's standing in, the area he's standing in. And then the background will be in the distance. So for this bas relief tile, you're gonna need at least three elevations of surface. And when I made the slab, uh, remember, I went a slightly over half an inch, closer to three quarters of an inch. So you need to plan and need to remember that we need at least a quarter of an inch of clay at the base, at the base, meaning uh, we, we can't go any farther down than a quarter of an inch. So I have a lot of room to remove some of this material. So the first thing I wanna do is to bring down the background um, to a distance. And I'm gonna use this um, metal ruler and I'm gonna go in from my border and I'm gonna determine uh, my depth. Let me check here. This is definitely probably five eighths of an inch, almost three quarters. So I'm gonna go down probably three eighths 
And let me get something here and I'll show you. Okay, sorry for the break here. I'm going to um, use uh, some tape just as a gauge for me to know I don't go back too far or down too far. And I'm just going to take a small piece of tape and I'm going to put it at 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm just going to put some tape right there. Okay, so that's when I start carving, I'm not going to go down past that point. And I only need to put it on one. So there's my gauge as I start carving. So now I'm going to set up and I don't want to carve into my border. So I'm going to just go in slightly in and this is a great tool. So I'm just going to start making some passes and go down to my level and just start removing clay. And again, I'm not keeping, I'm going to stay away from my border at this point. And this is good clay, so save it. This is, we use the same tool for making handles um, for our functional wear. Um, but right now we're just going to be removing material. So. And we'll get it all to one level. I'm actually going to be creating a um, a texture in the background. So, okay. So again, we have the background, the middle ground, and the foreground, which is going to be the pelican. So again, just use that piece of tape as a gauge. Yeah. And I'm going to stay away from the pelican. I'll I'll go. Uh, with a smaller wire loop tool. This, that gauge, that little piece of tape is a good way to be consistent. I'm gonna come at an angle here and remove some of this stuff. So already you can start to see it um, come to life. And again, um, you want your clay soft when you're rolling out your slab, uh, but you want it to set up when you start the carving, okay? Yeah. So a slow, steady hand, you know? And you could always, if, make sure when you're using the wire loop tool, that um, you don't have dry clay in there that will uh, create scratches and uh, something you'll have to smooth. Also, it won't cut as well, but this is the first step. And I'm probably gonna be doing this in multiple videos um, on my school computer here. I don't have an ability to edit with the software I have on the computer. So we're just gonna have a lot of um, short videos on each little seg segment that I do. So that's the plan here. So I'm getting close <clears throat> and now I'm gonna probably go in <clears throat> and start to clean up these edges. Let me take a little bit more off of here. Instead of going totally straight this way, I'm gonna turn it at an angle and to remove the material. But again, I'm staying away from my border. I'm just trying to maintain that depth. That's it. Now I can come here. It'd be good to have a little Tupperware um, as you're removing some of these scraps while the clay is still soft. Uh, you can just drop it in and put the lid back on and your scrap clay will stay moist. Um, again, try to conserve all the material that you have. All right, I'm gonna try and go a little bit closer now. Yeah. So I'm doing my background first. That's the deepest part of the tile design, the background, okay? 
and then we'll start to focus on the middle ground. I think I'm going to probably, I might round my border frame, the thing that's framing this, I think I'm going to round it off just ever so subtly. Now I'm not taking much, I'm really just leveling the background. And your tile design, your background might actually be some mountains or clouds or a tree, or I don't know what your design is gonna be, but I'm pretty close. Now, I'm gonna focus in on, how's it going? Huh? So you got out of your class. Which one? Renee? Yeah. Uh, doing this. I'm filming right now. Oh, this okay. is, uh, we're doing, um, we're doing a bas relief tile. So I'm videotaping right now for the class. Cool. I'm gonna do a pelican from a classic fruit label. So. That's gonna be nice, man. Yeah, so. You're a pro. Hey, look at this. Mr. Tukwa, give me a, there he is. Hey now. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> Hope to see you guys soon, okay? All right. Take care. All right, so here we are. Um, we just got done with our background. And now we're going to um, the basics. Mr. Tukwa does that. He visits us. He makes the rounds in the hallways to see which teachers are on campus. So um, uh, this semester, uh, while we're in COVID, I'm gonna probably be in class at least three days a week. Um, we'll see. So I've got pretty close to the edges and now I'm gonna revert to um, this wire loop tool, smaller. Um, I can get in tighter places and when I get close, to my um, border, again, I'm using a metal straight edge, and this doesn't warp. Those um, yardsticks that I cut to use as spacers to roll out my slab, they warp, and the edge is actually bowed. So, you know, look down, check the quality of your straight edge. Um, if it's slightly warped, it's gonna be reflected in your work, okay? So I'm gonna now use the straight edge. And I see something here. I'm going to modify. I'm going to come in just a little bit. There we go. So again, use the straight edge and maintain pressure. And then I'm going to use the wire loop tool to get me down to that area. And that is that three quarters or a three eighths of an inch. I'm going to be going all the way to the base of where the loop is connected to this thing. So, and make your cuts. So this process isn't something you hurry uh, up and do. It just takes time and give yourself the time to do it. Okay. And, uh, you know, all this time we're spending on the computer uh, in class, this would be something that would be a great release and a distraction uh, from your academics. And give you the opportunity to use your hands and actually create something, right? Other than homework or a, uh, a report or a paper you know, lots of options. So I'm going to be ending this segment of the video here in just a second. I just want to give you the ideas. Next time we come back, I will have the background completed. And I'm going to show how I'm going to do the middle ground. Okay. I'm um, going to make these short, these little video segments short, um, but understandable. So again, our tile design. Uh, keep a border on it. I think that will help frame it like a picture of whatever design you choose. And again, we're going to have at least three levels, two 
our bas relief tile design, we're going to have the background, the middle ground, and then the foreground. So it's kind of important, all right? I might even uh, change this angle a little bit and have this middle ground go underneath the pelican's beak. And I think that might um, even make it pop more. Um, so we'll see. But right now, that's where we're at. So this is the end of the first carving background.